Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the Top Vloggers. As always, I am High and Mighty Joe. We are here in Brookston, Indiana at Camp Tecumseh. And uh, we are looking at a towering fiberglass fellow that will greet you prominently atop of the entrance here at this YMCA camp. Um, I really can't tell you a whole lot about it. Um... Because I really don't know much about it. The Indi I do know um, that in May 1973, the Muffler Man was delivered by the military trucks to its current location. Uh, and the Marine Unit won a National Community Service Award for its help in its transportation. And uh, as you can see right there, it says, Go in peace, serve God and man. Uh, right here at Camp Tecumseh in Brookston, Indiana. Well, we have made it to our next destination, and we are here in West Lafayette, Indiana, looking at the fallen soldier sculpture. This is a soldier's rifle that's stuck barrel end into the ground. It's flanked by a pair of cow, uh, combat boots, and it's topped by a helmet. It's 19 feet tall. Uh, definitely a warrior giant casualty. That, that's for sure. Um, now, I, it's also known as the Battlefield Cross. Apparently, uh, there are many life-size variants in town veteran parks. Um, but this towering version took its sculpture, sculptor three years to create. So... Definitely very beautiful. We're going to have a moment of silence for those we have lost. Well, I'm back in the car. And as you can see, you can see the, the fallen soldier sculpture as we leave. And... Instead of leaving, I think I'm going to take you on a tour of the grounds before we leave. As you can see, we are st showing you the bus station right now. Here is a nice little picnic area. Looks like with chairs up on top of the bench. And here is a tank. You can only imagine having that tank roll down your street, crushing all the cars, shooting, blowing up buildings. Wow. And this right here would have been the library. What a big, beautiful house. And there is a statue up there on the, as you're facing it, it would be the right side of the screen. I'm not sure what that statue is. And then there's another one on the left-hand side. Well, this building over here definitely looks like it has seen its better days. I do apologize for the wind. It is a little windy today. This would be a parking lot where the employees in the guest park and over there <coughs> excuse me uh, is a building I'm not sure what the, exactly that building is but I'll definitely tell you when we uh, go by that is Lincoln Hall And 
There's another hall. So definitely a lot of places around here for you to park. And uh, there's a commissary. So definitely uh, some beautiful grounds here. And there is the powerhouse that would provide power to all of these different buildings. I'm not sure what this building was used for, but another parking lot for you to park in. And that's going to do it for us on this on this uh, adventure. We're going to head off on to our next spot. And we'll see you there. Well, we have made it here to McCutcheon High School. Uh, this is in Dayton, Indiana, and um, yeah, I mean, it was kind of it's kind of a small town back in 1990. There weren't a thousand people in this town, and uh, well, one of those people happened to be Richard Shannon Hoon, um, uh, otherwise known as Shannon Hoon, and uh, it just. I mean, uh, he was he was a, he was a he was a, a really good singer, and um, this is where he went to high school. And uh, from all, uh, all accounts that I can see and and I have read and everything is that he was a pretty typical member of high school, graduating in the class of 1985. Um, he was an athlete with a love of jam bands and the Grateful Dead. Of course, as you all already know, uh, Shannon is not the only member of the Bolafia, Indiana family. Um, Izzy Stratton and um, Axel Rose are both from here as well. So, uh, but they did not go to this school. Uh, but this is the school of Shannon Hoon. Well, now that we have arrived here in the cemetery, I guess uh, we can. Uh, We'll get to going where we are, are planning to uh, to show you. This is a man from Lafayette, Indiana. His name is Richard Shannon Hoon. He was the lead singer for a group called Blind Melon. And... Uh, they had a song that came out in the 90s called No Rain that was unlike anything else at the time and it was just a, a breath of fresh air and definitely one of my top, top, top 10 favorite songs probably of all time. It's definitely a great song and uh, it's definitely not in my top 10, definitely in my top 100, that is for sure. Um, there's so many great songs, it's hard to pick a top 10. Um, but definitely in the top 100 greatest songs of all time. So. Now, Shannon first got his start as the lead singer for a group called Stiff Kitten. It says, I know we can't all stay here forever. So I want to write my words on the face of today, and they'll paint it. 
Now these are lyrics from one of the very first songs that Shannon Hoon ever wrote called Change. Which would later appear on the Blind Melons uh, debut album. Now one can't help but wonder if Shannon <coughs> would play this song in Rinky Dink Indiana nightclubs and ever think I'm going to play this song in 1994 at Woodstock. What a day. You can see all the mementos that fans have and, and family members and and loved ones and have left him. I love you on the balloons. Beautiful flowers. When I visit graves like this, it makes me pause and consider just how quickly time can pass. How distant a once familiar era of music can fade away into the limelight and how some people seem to be forgotten but I will not forget you Shannon Hoon thank you on October 20th after a dis disappointing performance in Houston well, let's just say that uh, it was a little too much for Shannon to handle. And uh, they had a performance scheduled for the next day uh, in New Orleans, I believe. And the sound engineer went to the tour bus to get him. And he was dead. Shannon Hoon died at the age of 28 from a cocaine overdose. A young man who was definitely taken way too soon by drugs. Sad, sad time. Let us have a moment of silence. Thank you, Shannon, for all that you have done. Well, what a day we had. Uh, all the wonderful things that we've seen. And uh, now we get to sit here and uh, look at this beautiful moon. This beautiful full moon. Making you think and making me think definitely and about how life can be cut so short and taken away in just the blink of an eye such a young age. Shannon, you will be missed. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this vlog. Don't forget to comment, like, and if you are new here, subscribe. And if you want to take it just one step further, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of the videos on this channel. If you'd like to help support this channel, you can do that by going to www.patreon.com backslash the top bloggers, and you too can help us reach the top. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of the links will be in the description below. And as always, top bloggers.